Good morning everyone. This is Samsung laptop and as you can see we are on the BIOS. So today in this video we are going to install Windows. By the way, let's check the model number. This is the slim version Samsung called 940X 3G model. Okay, so NP940X 3G. So first of all, what are you going to do? We are going to change a couple of settings. We are going to insert this bootable Windows 10 EVFI thumb drive and then it should be very simple. I don't like this BIOS screen. This is not like ordinary type. Highly illustrated, lovely one. So press and hold the power button. Make sure you use completely switched off and double check because sometimes uh, when you press the power button it doesn't get turned on because the button is too tiny and when you press it doesn't click properly. Okay, So I had to struggle a few times, I don't know why should be fine now and then we're going to keep pressing F2. Once we keep pressing F2 it's going to take us directly to the boot uh, sorry BIOS configuration that you can see. So on the left hand side I can see there are four buttons one of them called boot, advanced, security and the system. Okay so we're going to click the advanced to check. I can see it says everything is enabled and quite normal. There is nothing to do that much Okay, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Then on the security also, you can check there is no secure boot in the security section. But from the boot option, we can check a couple of settings that we must have to change. It. All right, so from the boot section, the options are quite limited. We can see the secure boot option, secure boot control, fast bias mode, PXC, Opium. Okay, so this is quite funny. If you see it shows turn on, I mean it says on on the left. That means um, the option is already on and if you want to click it's going to switch off. So that's what was the confusion. So I change the settings and when I reset it and try to get into temporary boot, it didn't allow me to get into any temporary boot. And I search everywhere. I don't know where is the temporary boot option, by the way. Okay. So we're going to check what happened. If it takes us to the previous windows. Yes, it is. So it was not successful. Even my USB thumb drive is absolutely fine. There is no issues because I did install hundreds of different laptops with the same bootable USB thumb drive. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat it again. And I'm going to make sure all the settings are correct. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press to turn on, and then I'm going to keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS option. And then I'm going to get into boot section. This is the one, and it shows tick mark on it. As you can see, this is switched off, and I thought it's on. Now this is switched on, and it shows UEFI. If you click here, it shows yeah UEFI OS. So now the settings are correct. Okay. But I don't see any temporary boot option, but that's fine. There are many ways to get into temporary boot option. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first we're gonna save it and then we'll exit it. And on advanced, every single thing is fine. Okay, so that's how it has to be. Remember, save it. And then we'll check again. I'm just trying to press F12 to see if there is any uh, temporary boot option. But it seems like it's taking us back to the previous windows, which I don't want it. Okay. And I can see my USB is blinking, so I wouldn't blame. Uh, this USB stick either faulty or what That's not a problem. This is quite fun. Let's try again and now in this time I will try to Get into Windows repair mode and once I get into Windows repair mode I can choose the temporary boot option Into USB Okay, so to do that I need to switch it off forcefully shut it down a couple of times and that would give us the temp, I mean, Windows repair option. So let's do that.
So I press. When it turned on, I press again to switch off. Then I had to play in that way. And then F4. And now it shows please wait. Now I can leave every single button. And this one will take us directly to Windows Repair option. Where we're going to choose this bootable USB thumb drive as a Windows installer. Okay. So it took like almost a couple of minutes to get in there. Go to the advanced option, use a device. And now from here, I can see my USB thumb drive, which is the top one. I click select and now it's restarting. And I'm pretty sure this one is going to take us directly to the Windows installation page. Okay, so that was the story about that machine. Now it's fine. Okay. Now we're going to go to setup. Accept the terms and condition. Find the drive. And we're going to do the advanced option. And now if you delete any existing partition, you're going to lose all the data. So be careful which one you are deleting. If you would like to keep a single partition, you could. If you want to create more than one, also you could. So that's fine. We just already put it in the setup mode. Now it's going to copy all the files and folder to the directory. And then hopefully it would be successful. So at a glance, if you ask me what we've done, we get into advanced option. We check. We left everything as default. And then we get into uh, boot section. When you click on boot section, it's going to show you on the left hand side, there's a tick mark. So that's when you are in the boot section. And from here, we choose UEFI operating system. And pretty much that's all. And make sure when you uh, turn on the option, it says on. When it's already on, it says on. So if you click again, it's going to switch off the option. So that was the confusion. Okay. So pretty much that's all. And now let's see what happened at the end. I'm pretty sure that would be successful. By the way, uh, the temporary boot option didn't work. So I had to force shut it down a couple of times to get Windows into the repair mode option. And then from there, manually, I selected my UEFI USB stick as a source. And when I selected, it restarted and everything was fine. So pretty much that's all. I hope you would like it if you do have any problem for this machine please leave it in the comment section and i will try my best to reply thanks for watching i hope i'll see you in the next one bye for now